All right, guys, if you struggle with body movement in your golf swing, check this video out. You might be surprised at what can happen. All right, guys, Christopher Howard here. So I just had a player come down from Vancouver, and I'll tell you, as I'm sitting here sweltering in this heat, I really am envious of the temperatures up there. But he had major problems hitting big slices, and the reason was his body movements just weren't aligned. So this whole video today is gonna to give you three keys to fix your body movement in your golf swing and put you in a position where you can hit any shot you want with nice coordination throughout the entire swing. All right guys, if you haven't yet, I would greatly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and like this video while you're at it. Okay, so one of the major issues that I see with players is they get in here from the top and get a lot of lateral movement. Now, some of them in their backswing get into a position where they move way off the golf ball. Some of them just push hard through it. That can put a player in a condition where they're hitting a lot of chunks, tops, where the path gets too far inside to out, or in some cases where it's coming too far out to in. Now, to fix that, we have to understand how our body works, right? If I drive too far towards the target, I'm gonna have to tilt back in order to be able to make contact with a golf ball, okay? So I wanna put myself in a position where I can keep my, my body stacked on top of it and just stay over the golf ball the entire time. So a great way to do this would be to take an alignment stick, put it in the ground behind me, just off my hip, okay? Now, if I move off of this ball too much in the backswing, I'm gonna hit that alignment stick. So I wanna make sure I can get in here and make a swing where I stay inside of that alignment stick. You hear a lot about creating a ball's worth of space. If it's really tight to your hip, you wanna feel like you create a golf ball's worth of space in between that alignment stick and you in the backswing. Now, if you're the player who struggles sliding in the downswing, we can put this in the ground in front of us, get in here, and really concentrate on turning and rotating and not hitting that stick hard until we work into our finish position, right? Boom. When I finish, I wanna make sure my pelvis is getting into that stick, but I don't wanna hit it early, okay? Once I've gotten into the position where my lower body is working appropriately, then I wanna get in here and just really feel that I am staying stacked on top of that golf ball with my chest. That will help you get rid of those bad tilts and all the issues that you're facing in terms of that lateral movement. Now another major problem when we get down into everything, and it goes hand in hand with the lateral drive, and this is the second key, is tilts out of your shoulder, right? If I get into a position where I start tilting back, okay, that can cause major issues with contact. That throws chunks into play. Now it also can put me into a position where I really throw that path too far into out. Now, if I get in here and I start turning my, aggress my shoulders too aggressively forward, that could throw my angle of attack way down in the ground and it could throw my path way across the golf ball. Now we can have major backswing problems because of the tilts, right? If I get in here and I turn everything too level, that's gonna put me into a position where that club just starts sucking way too far inside. You see that a lot with over the top golfers and we wanna get rid of that problem. A really simple way to clean this up in the backswing is to really think about your head. If we can get into a position where our head stays fairly stable over the golf ball, it can move up a little bit, that's okay with me. But if we can keep it fairly stable over the golf ball without moving too far off, okay, or another deadly move would be going forward, that's gonna put us in a really good position, okay? Now, we can also get in here and take an alignment stick, right? Put it over our chest and feel all of our tilts. Now, in the backswing, when I'm going back, if I can keep the butt of this alignment stick pointed down somewhere towards the golf ball, that's gonna get rid of that movement where my shoulders just go too flat and I start sucking it inside. See, now I'm more vertical, I'm in a good position. So you can use an alignment stick throughout your entire swing to feel those tilts. You'd wanna feel up with this stick more down, then try and get it more level in the downswing, not pointing back, okay? And then work around into your finished position and you'd want some of this tilt where it's somewhat down towards the ground on the through swing. One more key, the final key here, is understanding how pressure moves, okay? If you're somebody who in your backswing gets that lateral move off of the golf ball, 
we can really concentrate on what we're feeling here, right? If I move too far laterally, my pressure wants to move to the outside part of my trail foot. So the right foot for a righty, left foot for a lefty, okay? If I concentrate on trying to keep that pressure more into the inside heel in the backswing, that's gonna help prevent that lateral drive. To do that, I'm gonna need to feel that the right leg is extending in the backswing. If it's just staying flexed and going this way, that pressure is gonna move outside the foot every time. And it's gonna put me in a position where I really struggle with that lateral drive. Remember, if you move off the golf ball, I have to move back into the golf ball in order to hit it. And a lot of people don't post up and stop. They just keep going. All right, guys, so I hope this video helps. Make sure in your backswing, okay, you are creating turn instead of lateral movement. When you get up to the top, make sure your tilts work properly at the pelvis and in the shoulders, okay? Once you do that, make sure your pressure movement in your feet is working dynamically and you are being an athlete. I hope this video helps. See you next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.